through the next door and let nothing distract you. Let nothing distract you. Witch's Diary. My father and my mother didn't love me. So I X them? What? I've been in this house ever since. Should I be scared that she X'd her mother and father? I don't know. I'm thinking... Oh look, the candles are lit. It's a nice candlelight dinner. I'm thinking I should go back to safe. Okay. Let nothing distract you. Let nothing distract you. Such as the knife that was just thrown at my face. Let nothing distract you. Let nothing distract you. Let nothing distract you. Not even the cat. Or the books, or all the shiny things. Okay. Good. He's hungry. Who is he? Mmm. Mmm. Something's on the other side. Is it? Do I have food? I have a frog. Do I have to feed it the frog? I don't want to feed it the frog. Oh, whoa. Yep, now we're past the room of distraction. Okay, well, there's nothing I can do but go forwards. Okay, look at it. Open it. Listen closely. Do nothing. Listen closely. You hear something big crawling. Look. There's a viewing window the size of your palm. Look through it. You see slimy black scales. Listen again. Something big. Can I use the frog on it? Oh no, I can put the frog in the window! Am I gonna feed the frog to it? Okay, put it in the window. The frog is reluctant. I, I could understand that. Force it in. Oh, froggy. Okay. Force the fog, frog through the hole. Should I... Should I go in? Look through the window. You see nothing. Listen. You hear nothing. Okay, let's go. Really? Yes, really. What the fuck is this? What is the ground made out of? And what is that tripping noise? Oh, whoa, 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 wait, the frog! What? I saw the frog right behind me. And now the entire room is replaced with brains? And now, what? I have no idea what just happened. There's nothing in the room, and then there's a frog as I left the room, and then I went back to get the frog, and then there was, like, brains. And then it's gone. Um, okay. Kitty cats. Statues of kitty cats? A cat statue. <laughs> One of these is not the same. Statue. Statue. Mm, real? No, statue. 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 Oh, hey, it's you! Hey, how you doing, kitty? Oh, no, never mind, that's a statue. Statue... Oh, oh, wait, 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 is this... No, no, that's... Oh, it is! A black cat. A cat statue. Kidding. Oh, you got me. Don't ignore me. Okay, cool. I have to admit, I can't do that, so I'm impressed. Go where only one eye is open. 
Go where only one eye is open. Okay. <laughs> Creepy holes in the wall. In the shape of a mouth and some eyes. No eyes are open. None. That is really creepy looking. Both. Go where only one eye is open. Okay. Both. None. And none. So... Do I have anything? No. Um... An open eye is drawn on the wall. Closed eye. I mean, I could see they're closed. And open. So... Is there anything else I can do? What else could I do? Let's experiment! Hmm... Well, this one's the creepiest, so let's go! A large open mouth is drawn on the wall. There's a hole just big enough to crawl in. Go! Whee! Where are we going? What joyous adventures await us? Oh. That was significantly less joyful than I thought. I experienced only two joy units, and I expected five. I am disappointed. Okay. Door number one. And? And? That doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound good. Nope! Door number two it is. Okay, that also does not sound good. Okay. So... That's kind of what I expected. So what does that mean? I need to change their eyes? Maybe? I need to open one of their eyes, or close one of their eyes, to make it so one of them only has one eye open, but how would I do that? I can't touch these statues. What about the one that he the head turned? Is that... no, normal. I have nothing to work with, and I don't think I missed anything back there. Like, there's, there's just nothing I can do. Go where only one eye is open. There's just, there's nothing I can interact with there to do anything at all. I don't think I missed anything here. Now we're all the way back here. I don't think so. I don't think they put it so you'd have to backtrack to find something you missed. Oh, wait a minute. A large fissure. The ground is wet and smells of blood. Ooh. Can I... Can I do something? No. Nope. What am I missing? Like, I... 
I literally can't think of a single thing to do, because there's just so little I can interact with. I only have one inventory item, and it's a note. And I can't manipulate these things at all. Ah, oh, found a passage. Got it. Go where only one eye is open. It's the part that you have illuminated. One eye is closed on the left, one eye is illuminated on the right. Go in. Oh, okay, and it looked at me with the eye. I don't like that noise either, but this has to be the one. Okay. Ah, oh, that's what I was hearing. Oh. Let's avoid that. Make sound in four rooms. Yo! This floor is pretty quiet. Well, we're gonna change that because apparently I have to make sound in four rooms. Yeah. Oh, hello, little toy soldier thing. Are you a toy? A toy soldier with a fake gun. Is it really fake, though? Why don't you test it? What are these things above me? Are they like... I don't know, what are they? I can't even examine them, so I guess they don't matter. It looks like they'd be used to hold something. Make noise in four rooms. Blue eyes see the score. A beautiful collection of lilies. A pumpkin with a face carved into it. Why would I want to hit the pumpkin? No. Some playing cards. Okay, apparently I can hit all of the pumpkins. A big pumpkin. This one does not have a face in it. Hmm. And some lovely paintings. A painting of a blonde-haired woman. Her gaze goes far into the distance. Red-haired woman. Far into the distance. Black-haired, yep. And silver-haired. Daenerys! Blue eyes see the score. Somebody should fix that. Blue eyes. Well, none of them have blue hair. If that has any relation to that. I don't know, what's in here? Won't open, of course. Coat rack. Oh, there's my reflection again. I don't like that. A dresser. I don't like it when you can see a reflection in something, because that thing might pop up again. Let's leave that. Yeah. A teacup. Ooh, that reminds me. I have tea. I better drink it before it gets totally cold. Mmm. Eh, it's like room temperature. It's getting there. <sighs> Nothing worse than cold tea. Well, okay, I suppose, like, murder and genocide, you know, those things, they might be worse than cold tea, but cold tea is damn close to them, okay? A big glass cupboard. Oh, I'm sorry, I mean cupboard. Teacups and saucers on a kitchen wagon. The window is shut fast. Good. I hate it when people shut windows slow. Play the music box with 12. With 12. A small music box, it's missing its key. Play or don't play? Don't play. Teacup, teacup. I feel like it's been a disturbingly long time since I've saved. A toy box. It won't open. Which is diary. I X. All the friends who came to my house after that. They were all eaten by the house. Well, I am not surprised. I guess that's where all of those bloodstains came from. But it wasn't enough. Where did the music go? I feel like it's been missing for a long time.
Okay. So it says play the music box with 12. And I can play it, but it's missing its key. And there's some pumpkins I can hit. Okay, what's up here? Hold on, wait a minute, let me save. Piano! And it said make make noise in all four rooms. A grand piano. A gorgeous vase. The book titled Eye Studies. Ooh, there's something in the other room talking about uh, blue eye something. People have different eye colors. <laughs> yes, yes they do. Is, is that your thesis? We know the following about women in this region in particular. A woman's eye colors depend on her hair. The four hair colors are silver, black, gold, and red. The four eye colors are brown, green, blue, and red. Silver-haired silver -haired women have red eyes, and brown-eyed uh, brown, yeah, brown women can have either blonde or red hair. Okay, well, I'm looking for blue eyes. Oh, exclusion. It doesn't tell me the rest, so I need to figure out the rest by exclusion, right? But what am I going to be doing with this information? Hmm. Well, I mean, there's only one left, right? So, silver, blonde, and red don't have blue eyes. Wait a minute, brown-eyed... Hold on. Brown, red... Okay. So what's the other hair color that was there? There was silver. There was red. I don't know. I need to go back. I'll deal with that later. You need not play. There's nothing on the music. Rest. Ah, uh, no. It's locked. There's some small text on the door. Make sound in four rooms. All right. What the hell? Let's play. Didn't think that was a good idea. That's what you get for improvising, or playing your own material. And I'm guessing this is probably going to kill me too, right? It's missing its key. Play it! Oh. Oh, now this thing opens. It's a jack in the box. Okay, that doesn't really help me. It just moved towards me as I left the room. And now it won't open. Play the music box with 12. I still don't know what that means. <coughs> I thought so. Okay. I swear, half of the work that has been put into this game is finding creative ways to instantly kill you. Um, okay, so what was it? It was silver, blonde, and red, right? So black... So the black-haired woman would have to have either blue or... What's the other color? Blue or green eyes, right? Black-haired woman, her gaze goes far into the distance. So what does that mean, though? I mean, what do I do with this information? I can't do anything with the paintings. Screw it, let's hit a pumpkin. That doesn't make much of a sound. Lame. It makes a pleasing sound. Ooh, cool. Eh. Alright, so the one without a face makes a pleasing sound. Some playing cards. Did, did I just make more noise? Okay, keep hitting it. 
Nice. Getting some grooves. There we go. Now what if I hit it again? Oh, I can't. This looks like a room of death to me. Potted plant. A mirror. I don't like mirrors. Statue of a woman. Statue of a man. I can be the sun. I can be sand. And I can be a bird. What am I? What? I can be the s Oh god, I'm terrible at these, by the way. Probably because I've practically never done them. I can be the sun. I can be sand. And I can be a bird. What? I, I don't know. Am I a clock? Oh, shake head. Hold on. Hold on. No. Okay. Well, it's got to be one of the items in this room, right? Could it even be a statue? Am I a man? Hold on. Okay. Can be a sun. Can be sand. Can be a bird. A sun. Sand. A bird. Nah. Sun. Sand. Bird. Doesn't make any sense. Mirror. Sun, sand, bird. I Well, it mirrors stuff, so I guess maybe. A plant. I can be the sun. Well, photosynthesis. Sand. I don't see how that plays into it. I can be a bird. That doesn't even make any sense. Sun. Sand. Bird. No. Sun, sand, bird. The mirror is the only thing I can even think would remotely fit this, just because it mirrors anything, you know, it could be anything. For it is a mirror. Mm, let me save first. I think that would be prudent. Oh, I see. Okay, so one of these candles has now been lit. Whoops, didn't mean to overwrite that one, but okay. All right, I'm going with the mirror. Yes. Incorrect. Shit. Okay, how many tries do I get? Wait, did that actually hurt me? No, I still have 10 hit points. Sun. I can be the sun. I can be sand, and I can be a bird. I... F the plant, sure. Incorrect. Fine, let's just kill everything in my fumbling attempts. Why not a clock? Yes. What? A clock can be the sun? A clock can be sand? A clock can be a bird? What? A turnkey fell out. Got a queen key. Okay. Sun. Sundial. Sand. Hourglass. Bird. Cuckoo clock. Okay, I did think of cuckoo clock, but... I wasn't thinking sundial or hourglass, but okay. Alright, what am I going to do with this key? A small turn key with a queen engraved on the end. A queen. Can I put it into here? Sure, insert it. Insert the key and play the music box. Okay, what did that do? Play the music with 12. Do I still have the key? No, I'd used it up. Whoops. So what did that do? No, 
don't do nothing. Just leave it. I guess just leave it playing, and that's good. Yeah, okay. Done. What next? Right. I studies. Still locked, yep. Make sound in four rooms. You need not play. And I know I shouldn't. I don't get the paintings. Depends on her hair. Four hair colors, four eye colors. Silver-haired women have red eyes, so that's out. Brown-eyed women can have either blonde or red hair. So... And it just ends, right? And then it just ends. Like, unless I'm missing... No. You press space and it continues. It just ends. I press space and it just ends, so... I, I don't even get how this information helps me, though. Like, even if I can figure out what it means exactly, I can't do anything with these paintings. You see a white sheet stuck in a crack in the wall. Oh, they're staring far into the distance. Okay, well, it shouldn't be the red hair or her, or her, so it should be the black hair. So this one. You see a white sheet and a crack on the wall. Pull out. Got some sheet music. Okay. I turn into a painting. Wrong one. Or actually, maybe it's the right one, but I just need to run. Could be. Gotta do this again. Hold on. Uh, I'm just gonna run. Alright, I've pulled out. Now it's time to run. It won't open. <laughs> I'm never going to close this dialogue box, for I will forever be alive. Nope. Okay. Honestly, it would be faster to just brute force this than actually, than actually figure out the puzzle. But, let me think. I know it's not that one, obviously. Uh, Silver-haired women have... Blah, blah, blah. Okay, what is it? Like, brown eyes could be... I don't even remember what it says. I'd have to run all the way over there and try to memorize it. I'm pretty sure it can't be the silver-haired woman. Blonde. Blonde it is. <laughs> nope. Maybe I had the right one. Let's see the many creative ways I can die. Okay, I think I had the right one. Oh wait, have I tried the silver-haired woman? Yeah, okay, I did have the right one, but then what do I do? The door won't open. What does this say again? Blue eyes see the score, yeah. The score, <laughs> the score, the music. Do I go through this door? I guess I do. Okay, here we go. Okay. I don't get it. I did notice that this placard seemed to be moving afterwards, so let me do this. And then go for the placard. Oh, sorry, it's not a placard, it's apparently a piece of paper. Destroy the painting. Okay, how? Could you please tell me how to destroy the painting? That would be very helpful. Please, thanks. 
I have nothing on me but a letter. So... Like, can I destroy it beforehand? Doesn't seem like it. How would I destroy it? Let's do it again, but let's run around in a circle forever and see if something happens. Oh, destroy it. Ah, okay, okay, got it. The painting is still there. I thought the painting had come off the wall, but apparently not. It's a copy. Or something. <laughs> it's a fake. It's a reproduction. They're down. Okay. It's you again. Wait, where's the piano? It was up here. A musical score with no notes on it. Place the music. Place the sheet music on the piano. Let me guess, it's going to automatically play. No, do nothing. There we go, see? Automatically plays. The piano begins playing itself. The vase shook and spat out a turn key. Ooh. Got a king key. Alright, I've already used the queen key. Now I have a king key. Ooh. The king key is very kinky. Get it? Ha! <laughs> it's a play on words because when you say king key, it sounds just like kinky. Oh, English language. That's a beautiful piece of music. It's locked. Okay, so what am I missing? It's the... It's the toy box, right? That's what I'm missing? Well, that's comforting. The mirror's cracked. And there she was again. Everything's breaking around me. Oh, hi! No, can't use it. So... What am I supposed to use it on? I mean, I could... Can I stop it? No. No, and I can't use that. So... Noise in one room. Good. Noise in this room. Done. Someone just peeked in through the painting. A crumpled, distorted painting. The woman is gone from it. Oh. I guess I used the key here, maybe? Insert key. You can't reach the clock. I can't imagine what tool I could use to increase my height to reach the clock. Nothing in this room I could think of could possibly work. Hold on, I'm gonna have to look at a walkthrough for this one. Let's see. Mm. Oh, never mind, I think I figured it out. It's not ticking. Let's fix that. Inserted the key, the king key, and turned it. The clock starts ticking. Sound was made in all the rooms. Heard an unlocking sound somewhere. Is there a head inside of the vase? A beautiful collection of lilies. Uh... Okay... I guess he got so tired he collapsed from exhaustion.
the door open. A sobbing statue of a woman. Let's not talk to it. Not yet. This is really strange. Look at the architecture here. You have what looks like a marble statue. And we have stained glass windows. It looks kind of church-like, right? Except the floor. Looks like some dingy, broken, tiled bathroom floor. It's like a church mixed with a bathroom. A dark stained glass window. Woman statue. Are you ignoring me? What did you want to talk about? My ring. It's not here. Well, I don't have a ring either. So, goodbye. It's l Now it's locked. Or was it not locked before? I mean, or was it locked before? My, my ring. Okay. What was that? Oh. That was a piano. The hell? And dot 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 question mark, that about sums it up, doesn't it? A fireplace. Look inside, why not? We might be about to find out why not. There's a hole in an iron ladder going down. And there's an arrow pointing down. Hmm. The performance has ended. A discolored vase. Descend. Uh, hold on. I guess I probably have to. I mean, I don't have a ring. And this is still locked, right? Yeah, okay. Gotta go. Down we go. To find adventure. Oh, we're back here. Okay, so the fireplace is a way to traverse... Traverse vertically. That's actually a really cool little attention to detail there. Every time you walk across the broken glass, you actually hear a broken glass sound. Alright. So it's pointing me to go this way, obviously. Okay, it appears to really want me to go this way, so I'm not going to go that way. Oh look, I just realized, the guests have come to feast. The guests are statues. A bust of a male figure. The pot just jumped. Why did the pot jump? Okay, I get it. You're very unhappy with the floor. You want to replace it with something different. I get it. Won't open. <coughs> Hi. Get the fuck out of my way. Okay. I guess I'm going this way. Something's boiling. The pot is boiling. Hold on, let's look around first. There's a big dragging mark on the floor. So it can be moved. Mm -hmm, nothing particularly eye-catching. Uh, something just closed that door, so no. A heavy kitchen knife. The handle is covered with black, sticky stuff. Ugh. Mono. Okay. I can either stop this from boiling or open the door. Let's stop this from boiling. A heated pot. Ah, <sighs> look at it. A metal pot, thoroughly used. Smell it. It smells odd. Doesn't do much for your appetite. Open it. 
used a nearby cloth to pull off the cover. Look inside. A wiener and some cabbage are boiling inside. So it's a soup, I guess? Smells like rotting pig guts. Ugh. Search inside. Maybe I can find a ring. You wouldn't dare to do that with your bare hands. Okay, fair enough. And I don't have anything right. Nothing but a letter, which is not going to do. Can't take the knife? No. Okay, in we go. Are those bones? What the fuck? The chef has been preparing more than just food. A skeleton. Piles and piles of skeletons. None of the skeletons have hands. The chef did say it needed a hand. The skeletons are of all sizes. Is there anything actually here that I can use other than skeletons? Why do I think I'm going to die as soon as I leave? Alright, so I need something to reach inside. What could I use? I can't go through any of these doors. I could. Can I even go back? I can. But why? What's the point? I haven't actually gained anything. Hole open up in the floor. I feel like I missed something in here. A sink. Bugs wriggle around the rusty faucet. Heavy kitchen knife. Can't search inside. Nope. Big dragging mark on the floor. Table or glasses and seasonings. Nothing particularly eye-catching. Mount of skeletons, none of the skeletons have hands. There's chopsticks in the skeleton's ribs. I knew there was something in here, even though I couldn't see it. Got gold chopsticks. Uh, wait, they're gold? The hell would they be made out of gold? That's insane. And yes, that skeleton just moved towards me, because of course, every single thing in the room moves toward- Blech. Every single thing in every room moves towards you in some way when you leave. At this point, it ceased to be even mildly surprising. Even a pile of skeletons moves towards me. Long, narrow chopsticks used for cooking. Search with the chopsticks. Let me guess, I'm gonna find a ring. The chopsticks caught something. Oh, look, there's something in the window. Look at the window above there, above the shelf. Got a pig ring. What's a pig ring? Oh, hi. It won't open. Shit. Hi. What, does that mean I have to go through... Go through here, or what? I stole the chopsticks. It's blackened and smells foul. Did something just break back here? Return things to where they were. Okay. Okay. It wants the chopsticks back. 
fine. Put back the gold chopsticks. Where? <laughs> it thinks I don't remember where they came from. I have a terrible memory, but this I actually remember. The ribs. Put the chopsticks between the skeleton's ribs. Yes, very funny. Chatter, chatter, chatter. Okay, let's go back. You hear someone coming down the stairs. And let's go. Five seconds. Did I make it? I mean, I got to the fireplace. What what happened? Okay, good. Whew. I like that they just throw a random timer up on the screen that they've never done before. Like, suddenly you have five seconds to live. How do I know I have five seconds? Okay, I found your pig ring. Which is apparently blackened and smells foul, I guess because of what it was cooked in. Enjoy! Put on ring. Wait a minute, like, put ring on me? Or, or put ring on the statue? Hold on, is there somewhere I can save here? It's been a long time since I've saved. Um, I should be able to save back. That, that thing just moved. Okay. The vase gyrated. Cool. So he's a soldier with a fake gun. His head is bent. I wonder if I need to clean it off. But how would I even do that? Eh, I don't know. Here, take your disgusting pig ring. Woman statue. This is my... Thank you. You're welcome. Heard an unlocking sound somewhere. Glad you enjoyed the disgusting ring that's been boiled in, like, pig guts. Enjoy. A gorgeous stained glass window. Whatever that thing is, it just saved my life, I think. The stained glass window is shattered. It's pitch black outside. Great. Dolls. No, let's not pick up the dolls. There appears to be one missing. Okay, blue to blue, red to red, green to green. I could put them on the appropriate color. But there's no reason to do that yet. Never mind, I can't open the door, so yes, there is a reason to do it. Alright, come with me. Can't put it here. Hmm. Something tells me this is going to be more complicated than it looks like. Don't, don't kill me. Please don't kill me while I'm moving these. There you go. This just seems too obvious. There's got to be more to it. Heard an unlocking sound somewhere. Okay, maybe there isn't. The door opened. And they all looked at me, of course. Ooh, roses. Kitty cat. Yo! Seems like this is the top floor. Great. Beautiful flower. How do you do? Wait, the, the flower is talking to me? Uh, hi? A group of artificial roses. Why are all the roses artificial? Birds eat greenery. Okay, and that is green. Creepy plants blocked away. So it sounds like I need a bird to eat it. Hold on, what about this tea? A half-empty cup of ginger tea. Ooh, that reminds me of my tea. Mmm. 
Ugh. It's been about an hour and 50 minutes since I made it. It is now cold. Not even room temperature. It's just cold. Alright, stuff in there. And more stuff in here. Let's go to the right first. A book titled, The Talkative Plants. Well, tell me more. I've already experienced one talking plant. The flower ladies are beautiful and can speak. These are their characteristics. The white flowers are most beautiful of the garden. When touched by rain, oddly, their petals glow. Okay. Rain makes them glow. The red grasses are knowledgeable, but they're always lying, so be careful when conversing with them. I'm going to write this down because I think I need it. Red grass equals knowledge and liar. Okay. Yellow flowers. I'm a slow writer, by the way. Apologies. Lovely to a fault. Pollen produced by these flowers is a strong medicine that can kill or give life. Okay, pollen is... What should I say? Is crazy. Yo. There we go. Yellow flower equals pollen is crazy. Yo. That is what I've now written down. Okay. And uh, I don't need to write down the white one. I can memorize that. Rain makes a glow. Got it. Also, my nose itches. Stop itching nose. Ah. There we go. Problem fixed. Looks like a jail door. It's locked. It's pitch black through the bars. Hmm. Maybe if I made it rain on the petals of the uh, white flower and it glowed, I could pick the petals and use them as a light. Medicine. It's locked. Someone's moaning inside. Uh, no, don't talk. Okay, it says medicine and there's someone moaning inside, so I'm guessing I need to b deliver them medicine. This looks like a birdcage. A metal birdcage. Look at it. Something feebly flaps its wings. Alright, let's leave it there for now. I think I'm going to need it to eat the greenery. Okay. <laughs> red grass equals knowledgeable, but also liar. The red grasses are whispering to each other. Okay, well, keep whispering then. Apparently I can't talk to them. Not that I'd want to, because they would only lie to me. What's up here? Creepy green plants blocked away. I don't know if I want to be in here. That looks like an abyss. A big hole with no visible bottom. Yeah, no thanks. I'm good. Wait, I should save first. Yellow flower. Honestly, she's, she's such a nuisance. Alright, so yellow flower equals crazy... Uh, pollen is crazy, yo. Keep that in mind. Shells lined with tea and canned sweets. To think, without her, we would be the most beautiful of the garden. All the flowers. I know, right? <laughs> I'm sure they must be talking about the white one. Oh my. You've got quite big arms. Oh ho ho. Wait, what? Oh, won't somebody X that girl? What, what does X mean? Just kill or, or what? If someone did. Ah, yes. We'd share some of our wonderful pollen. Okay, so if I kill the white flower... They will share their pollen. I don't know if I can kill the white flower, but I can... Maybe make it rain on it, somehow? There's strawberry shortcake and chocolate cake on the table. That sounds delicious. Why is there blood on the wall? X the flowers and you'll die too. Okay. I'm getting conflicting messages here. A large clock. Time marches on. Sure, touch it. Why not? Uh 
Okay, cool. Yet another completely random death. Sure, let's look under the table. There's a skull on the floor. Pick it up. Got a skull. Great, and now there's a blood stain on the wall. I don't think that was there before, was it? The wall is red stained and sticky. Alright, what the hell am I gonna do with a skull? A small, well shaped skull. Okay. It's pitch black in there. <laughs> Alright, let's go back here and talk to the moaning prisoner. Wheeze hack cough. Medicine, you got any? I'm sorry, I don't. You were spit at. Well, fuck you too. A metal bird cage. Yeah, let's open it. It's firmly shut. Bash it open with a skull. I can't. You want to know how to X a flower? They apparently always lie, but I could always just ignore what they say, so sure. None of the three ways to X are proper. You should just give up on it. Okay, fuck you. Wait, can I talk to the others? Oh yes, I forget what exactly the proper way to X is. It was either cutting it up or uprooting it. Uprooting and plucking are both proper ways to X. Okay, um... Is this some sort of exclusionary logic thing? So, they're all lying. Well, not necessarily. This one's saying none of the three ways to X are proper. Assuming that's a lie, that means they are, or maybe some of them. This one says it's saying it's either cutting it up or uprooting it. This one's saying it's uprooting and plucking. So, the only one both agree on are uprooting. Let's go with that. What the hell is this? There's a small skull on the chair. Was, was that there before? I don't remember that being there. Okay, pick it up. Got a skull. Now I have two. What am I going to do with two skulls? I can't use it on the chair again, so... What? How do you do? Well, I'm not gonna tear it up just now. I'm fine, thanks. Okay, I'll brood it. Nope. <laughs> I might as well just try the others. Bluck it. With a strange shriek, the beautiful flower expires. Okay, it worked. God, I feel bad for that. White petals are scatter scattered on the ground. Take them. Got flower petals. Okay, so I should get the pollen from the yellows over here. Hold on first. Let me save. I heard it. I heard her ugly wail. I heard it. I heard it. I heard it. Ha 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 ha! Uh-huh. Ah, yes. Our promise. Here you are. Got a white powder. Great! What am I gonna do with... Okay, I have two skulls, some flower petals, which apparently glow if it rains, and some white powder. Candy-like powder from the yellow flowers. Ah. Oh, wait. That's right. It's a medicine. I forgot. Well, I can also be using... Hello? 
It can also be used to kill. So, the question is, which one is it going to do? Is it going to kill or heal? The person grabs the bars. Hey, give me that. Okay, sure. You put the white powder through the bars. The person swiftly takes the powder. Ah, ah? Uh, wait a sec. Don't have a... Wait, what? Without that? Without that, I can't even use this. What? Without what? What are you, what are you talking about? Ah. Do you want a skull? Whatever. Knock the cage over. The birdcage has fallen over. The hinges on the door seem loose. Open it up. Pride opened the door. Something invisible leapt out. Okay, apparently there's an invisible bird, so I'm assuming it's going to eat the greenery. Great, a bloody wall. Hidden in the darkness. Okay. Hold on, let's go save. So that should open two pathways, correct? The one over there that I just went to, and this one? Yes. Oh, there's the partially invisible bird. Thank you, Mr. Bird. Or Mrs. Bird. 